cuddling her baby. This mother is among the lucky chimpanzees rescued from poachers. Her newborn baby brings to 49 the total number of chimps at this sanctuary. Conservationists here say this is just a small percentage of the endangered species. Uganda alone has only about 5,000 chimps in the wild. So that's why our attention is on these species. Because if we do not do so much work, that means we might lose them in a few years' time. The increasing pressure on natural resources is partly to blame for the declining number of primates. And as the forest cover gradually disappears, they are easily trapped by the hunter's snare and pet traders. Conservationists are concerned about a growing threat to wildlife. They say poaching is threatening to wipe out indigenous species like this chimpanzee. They want authorities to strengthen the laws and offer more protection. <laughs> Conservationists are also looking at the possibility of working with the communities before reintegrating the chimpanzees into their natural habitat. So the only plan we have is just to introduce them back into the world, uh, but they already uh, habituated, they are more used to humans. And so because of that, actually it's a challenge to the reintroduction program because we need to introduce them in a place which is far away from human settlement. In 2012, authorities in South Sudan intercepted four chimpanzees in transit to the Middle East. They have since been habituated at this sanctuary. And uh, our goal is to make sure that they are secure in their natural habitats. So we no longer look at uh, having a sanctuary uh, for so many years, but we look at a point when this sanctuary is not anymore and all chimpanzees are happy in their wild uh, habitats. As the struggle to save the endangered species takes shape, these chimpanzees will continue to call this place home. Hilara Isga, CCTV, Central Uganda.